let's uh, continue working on this spreadsheet uh, model. And earlier we have um, calculated the projected 2007 sales, which is um, a percentage of increase, in this case 7% of increase uh, from the previous year. And now we're going to calculate the gross sales and the profit for each of the product uh, for 2007. So for the gross sale, uh, it's going to be, uh, let's do it here. You say equal. It's going to be the unit price times number of units sold. So we can copy it and paste and double check and make sure that we're um, referring to the correct um, number of units and the corresponding unit price for the same product. Okay, and as you can tell, when you come over to this formula re area, um, they're going to highlight the cell that has been used in in the formula. Um, so it's very easy for you to kind of double check on it. Okay, and so that is done. And let's calculate the profit. The profit um, will be, in this case, number of units sold times the unit price minus the unit cost. So that will be the profit. Okay. And once again, just double check and make sure everything has been pasted properly. Um, in terms of percentage of sales, it's become a little bit tricky. Okay, We may need to calculate the total sales here. Uh, in this case, we can actually come here and basically just say, let's do the total sales. Okay. In this case, the total cell is the sum, which is an Excel function, and then it's from um, the cell F5 to F12, which is this region. Okay, that's how you refer to a region. Okay, let's come back again. Sum is Excel function, and then it's from F5 to F12, which is the whole region add all the sales uh, value up together. So that's the total sales. Once we have this, we can actually calculate the percentage of sales uh, relative to the total sales. So this will be the gross sales. Let's see. It will be the gross sale divided by total sales. In the total sales, um, when you do this um, calculation for the percentage, let's first look at it. And here, by the way, they show up as a percentage because in our um, f format of the sales, okay, let me see whether I can do this a little bit better. When you say format cells, you find out that we choose this numbers format to be percentage. Okay, that's how we will have this percentage for um, format showing up. Okay, um, so that sounds good. If we copy and paste, you find out it's uh, there's something wrong. The reason, let me undo this. Okay, and by the way, there's that's the undo. Okay, if you click here, that's the undo. What's wrong is actually here, the total sales. Okay, because if I copy it and paste. 
the system will be referring to not this total sales number. Okay, this is where we need to change this F3, which is the total sales, to an absolute address. Okay. Once that's done, now if we do copy and paste, okay, and we're going to have the correct ratio, a correct percentage calculated. So once again, you have to know where to use absolute address and where to use um, relative address. One more improvement to our um, to our model, to our spreadsheet model is, let me come here, is instead of referring to a um, the sale seven percent, the percentage increase in in the I two sale that we have, which is currently seven percent. Um, what we can do is actually name this particular sale. Okay, let me come here um, to name a sale. Give a sale a name, a variable name. The best um, we come here, highlight the cell, and this is the row column address I2. Um, I can just highlight it and type it over. I would just uh, maybe would just say t um, I'll just say increase. Okay, I'll just say increase. Percentage. Okay, increase percentage, and remember to hit the Enter key. Okay, so now um, I have this cell um, name, and the name is increase percentage. So instead of refer to the cell as dollar sign i dollar sign two i can basically type increase percentage of the system prompt me for some of the uh matched name including this uh newly created uh cell name called increase percentage i can just select it okay and once that has been done, if I do copy and paste, you find out actually, let me scroll down and you can see, it's always referred to that one plus increase percentage. Okay. And by the way, when you use the name of a cell uh, to refer to the cell, it is, um, it is used as an absolute address not relative address anymore okay so if you want a sales to be used in a formula as a relative address you may not want to use uh, the name of the cell uh, even you have given the cell a name you may still want to use that row column address format to refer to the cells in case it's um, it has to be used as a relative address instead of an absolute address. And in case that you need to change uh, or modify this uh, sales name, um, you can come to data. Um, let me see. Let me just get out of here and come to come to formula. Sorry, come to formula and you can come to name manager in the name manager now you can actually either delete it or add it okay change the name and so this allowed us to manage the name that we have created okay and another piece of information about naming um, 
a cell is that name can be used um, to refer to the whole region. Okay, so technically we can do this, highlight this. Okay, let me scroll a little bit. I can highlight this and I can say click right mouse button and I can basically say define name. Let me just scroll a little bit so you can see in the pop-up menu here uh, there's a so-called define name. So I can name this, um, hey, it's perfect. I'll just call it growth cells, okay? So I'll define this whole region as growth cells. Once that's done, instead of refer to this as F5 to F12, I can just type growth cells for this whole region. It, the result is identical to what we have earlier. Using name in this case make our formula much more readable. Okay, so if you look at here, uh, instead of referring to something like dollar sign i dollar sign 2, um, the formula is much easier to read. This will be d5 and times 1 plus the increased percentage. Okay, the readability will lead to um, maintainability, easy to maintain our model, and, and that's critical in terms of the um, the long-term cost in, in, in maintaining a spreadsheet model. So this concludes our um, video tutorial uh, regarding t um, how to use Excel spreadsheet to creating a model. Thank you.